Welcome to my channel. This is today's episode of Daily News Clips. And today I've chosen something a little different. I'm trying to find songs that are, are, are stories, excuse me. <laughs> I'm trying to find stories that might be uplifting and positive for you. And so I've chosen three today that I thought one is intriguing, the other two I think are uplifting. So, before, but before I get to that, I do want to thank you for coming to my channel and for putting up with my goofiness. I really do. Oh, Lord have mercy. Sometimes my mind just goes wacko. <laughs> uh, the first story that I have is, Hero Fisherman Saved 38 Dogs on the Verge of Drowning in Mississippi Lake. Um, these three guys went to Lake Granada, which is in Mississippi, I suppose. And they were fishing when they spotted some dogs in the water and they wondered what they were doing. And they kept on fishing for a while, but then they looked over there and they saw that the dogs were still in the water and they thought, boy, they've been in the water a long time. So they went over there and they rescued the dogs, all 38 of them. They loaded up 27 dogs into the boat and took them to shore. And then they went back and re rescued 11 more for a total of 38. Turns out that these dogs were being used in a hunt, uh, a traditional annual hunt that's going on. And they chased a deer into the water and then they got kind of confused and weren't sure where they were and how to get out of it. And so... Uh, they were actually in trouble by the time that the fishermen came over. And they saved all 38 of them. So kudos to those three guys for doing what was right. The second story that I have is a Dumbia NBA game was moved to a larger arena to accommodate crowds wanting to see Caitlin Clark. If you're not familiar with Caitlin Clark, she was probably the number one... Um, college female college basketball star in the u.s last year and she signed to the wnba this year the wnba has been going on for quite some time and they have never made money they're they're basically subsidized by the nba but with caitlin clark around that might change i'm going to read you just a little bit of this caitlin clark's wnba colleagues may bristle at the attention being paid to this year's number one pick, but her effect on interest in the league simply cannot be ignored. In the latest example, Clark's fever team visited the Atlanta Dream on Friday. The Dream normally play at Gateway Center Arena in College Park, Georgia, which has a capacity of 3,500 and usually has plenty of available seats. But demand for the tickets was so high that the game was moved to Phillips Arena in Atlanta, home of the NBA's Atlanta Hawks. An estimated 17,575 attended the game, shattering the previous attendance record for a dream game, which came during their inaugural game in 2008. That game drew an estimated 11,609 fans. So, just the fact that she's drawing more people to the game should be something that's being celebrated, but uh, it's not by some people, which is interesting. <laughs> Jealousy. Envy. Oh, those sins that eat us up. And finally, my third article. Tantalizing signs of possible life on a faraway world. Now, um, the NASA's James Webb Space Telescope may have discovered tentative evidence of a sign of life on a faraway planet. Look how they're stretching that out. May have discovered tentative evidence of a sign of life. Three steps away from, yeah, they discovered. <laughs> it may have detected a molecule called dimethyl sulfide on Earth. At least this is the one, only Purdue. Oh, wait a minute. It may have detected a molecule called dimethyl sulfide. On Earth, at least, that is only produced by life. The researchers stress that the detection on the planet 120 year light, light years away is not robust and more data is needed to confirm its presence. 
Researchers have also detected methane and CO2 in the planet's atmosphere. Detection of these gases could mean the planet, named K2-18b, has a water ocean. So, I know the astronomers are getting excited about it, that's for sure. I don't know if we should. You know, I watch a show on... Uh, Oh, what channel is that? History Channel. Um, called. Uh, <laughs> mine totally escapes me. Uh, the Secret of Skinwalker Ranch. It's a place in Utah where they have uh, observed all sorts of weird phenomena that they call UAPs or un unidentified. Uh, airborne something UFOs basically uh, and they they have detected all of this activity there and they're they're trying to determine what it is and I, I, I have to tell you I'm up in the air about this stuff I don't know if I believe it or not um, although I tell you the evidence that they found at Skinwalker Ranch is really uh, <laughs> it's uh, disturbing and intriguing at the same time. If that's not a show you're familiar with, if you have access to the History Channel, I would suggest you look it up and watch an episode or two and see what you think. But anyway, um, is there life on other planets? I don't know. How could I? I'm just a simple man sitting in a chair in Dallas, Texas, Wondering what's going on in the world. <laughs> that's me. So that's all I have for news today. Hopefully I didn't give you anything that was a bummer. And you can feel better about the day. And I pray for you that you will have an abundant life. And that you will be blessed beyond measure by God. That he will grant you grace, mercy, love, joy, and peace. I pray that he will do the same for every person that you love. This is the Vietnam era vet out.